what's going on? It's your boy, man, Life Penis is all of Rap UK. Make up some noise if you're inside the building right Rap now. Shout out if you've still been supporting us. Make sure you go and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Art of Rap UK, on the Instagram as well. Shout out to Battle on the Roof behind the camera. Exactly, just a quick one as well. Just gonna wave the flag right now. Big up to all my Nigerian brothers right now. Big up to Nigeria. Love and blessings to everybody that's going through hard times right now. We want to show our solidarity. We want to big up Nigeria, man, and make sure that mm -hmm. we see justice, man. Big up to everybody that's out there. Man. That's he won the first clip. He chose heads. He chose ills to go first. Mm. Round one is on ills. Let's get it. Let's go. T's been waiting on this for a minute. But I control his end like a time bomb. The only thing that changes is the pace of my ticking. This is art of rap. What do you know about pointillism? These lines hit like acupuncture. Pick the weak points in them. No point I'm missing. I'll pick them apart with point precision. I've got black down to a T. Literally personified. Think crucified. Because after I exercise, you can see the points in them. I was in a split decision. I had to do some math. If T equals half of my energy, I'm ripping apart with ease. That's the point of division. The point that I'm giving is when I take a step back and see how all the dots connect into the perfect picture. I'll take it out in a flash. If my mind is the weapon, I move that through Sinak. I've literally just shown you are in rap, so don't come with all that. You ain't in my lead, bitch. <laughs> you better respect me, bitch. I put work into the right angle for this cat, so when I shoot in a hitch, you better learn to turn the cheek 180 degrees, bitch. You actually have skill to your arrogance creeps in. But I pity Mr. T because what I deep is after a year of depression, I won't be the same shit. And based on your promo, it looks like you really lost it because before that, you had an OCD need for validation like a special needs kid. <laughs> but let me put it into context because when we first met, you said, even in my circle of friends, I've always been the best. Well, when we're done here, you can send the rest. I don't know who you were trying to impress. Because that need to be the best can leave you split. Like McAvoy's personality is all in a contest. You end up in an endless fake quest looking for respect underneath your mess. So you really throw... Oh, he's got a white tee. But you really throw on a black tee to cover a complex. And you've got mad potential. But just watch that shit. Or you shoot so far ahead, you end up shot straight back with selling mixtapes for spare change in Stratford. Straight tragic. <laughs> I don't need validation to prove I'm sick, bro. I think therefore I am. Ills is anti-omatic. It's in the fucking name. See, I'm no easy pick of a card. You think that I equal a quick pass in a class? I bet T sees A's. T sweet until I break him down in a round like the TCA. But deep this lesson. Play this back. Because I've always been around to pick you up from your depression. I push bars like antidepressants. Consider these TCAs. Because kids mm. have so much will, but don't know when to pick it. We don't need to see pain. I don't want to see Tariq turn ghost next year. I'm trying to give him some game. Mm. Never underestimate an opponent. If you're going to talk shit about poetry, don't get bodied by a poet. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dojo. This is a dojo. You need to know there are many art forms. What you do is bring art to your form. I see no art in your rap, in trash. Just a tough face, yellow belly. You can't even digest this coin. <laughs> and you're a beg. Telling people you got shit to speak about when we've only met twice in life, so that I very much doubt you wilding out. Think you bringing flowers to my house? When I kill an MC slow, I chip away at anyone who thinks they're a storm. I started here. Your lines ain't shit, just good on paper. I'll make the margin clear. That bomb's still ticking till it blows in your face like a big bang. Don't have to call me Vegeta because they can see the margin clear. Oh, <laughs> Before Ills gets killed, let me address this man. Kill, address this man. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever, we catch up. I had a Black Lives Matter bar versus mob that aged horrible. But I don't regret shit and I knew where I was going with it. But they couldn't see the divine vision. And I couldn't really flesh it out because the time limit was three minutes. But in the start, it was funded by some cracker named George Soros, a multi-billionaire, so they can control what you follow. See, look at our fucking leaders. You can tell that they weren't thorough, so it didn't start from us. Essentially, it was all borrowed. See, d is a fraud using protests to profit with and Sean King tells us he's black. Like, we don't see those fucking lips! I couldn't predict we'd readopt it, couldn't accept all this suffering, but to see my people standing in unison, I can't help but love this shit, and we're all one pride. So if I say I want to rock him, it's all bars. So Black Lives Matter. But I won't hesitate to have a king lion and a brother scarred for you. I hope you was writing on your trip. Because you're about to see all kind of shit. I had tabs open in my mind but still had much room to buy time and slide you in. Please. I had niggas trying to DMT. Trying to psych me inside my psyche like I'm going to sign to win. 
dickheads. I'm reminding them the mind is a terrible thing to waste, that's why I make sure yours is on a plate. I'm dining with your dying bitch. Mm. You should have never shown face. They won't invest or investigate in you. This here is a closed case. The mouth screaming your ear to you for the bones in your dome shape. Mm. Then cut your locks off and beat you with them. <laughs> have you screaming at the whip like road rage? I don't hate. But your fake woke like a kid trying to watch TV when it's late, bro. This ain't nothing to bait. You swam up for the bait out your lake home. You should have stayed. I know you smell something fishy. You should have waited and weighed up your options. To be honest, I'm kind of pissed that you ain't afraid. So I've got to make an example out of you. Uh -huh. For the next basketball, bars trying to bust and move. Who told you you had a fight? Thank God you're so gullible. Now we get to beat this kid in public. Strangers watching blacks mother you with punches. This ain't even up for discussion. I'll have the man get jump you faster than women jump to assumptions. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> you're so hot. <laughs> You're so ho. You're so ho. I'm already at hella bars and I ain't even brought my gun in. Bunning down to wherever he says in me. I'm on the street with a musket trying to knock down this muppet. What are you telling me? I'm gonna put this arm up for show. I'll put this arm up and blow your whole arm off your shoulder. Pussy. I'm a marksman. Fuck am I gonna do against this guy that stumbles after every line, pulls and everything like he's from Harlem? Barking up the wrong trees, gonna leave you in a casket. I'm laughing because you was in Portugal while I was pulling all night. Is writing these poisonous lines. I'm a Portuguese man of war rhyming. It makes sense because you were screaming all that shit. Because babies always inducing their mother's hypermesis. And since I brought you in, you've been making me feel hyper me sick. Just another kid moving hyper, making me sick. But I'll take the morning sickness on the off chance you survive the ills, T. Because I don't need to see another mother sick of mourning a black kid on a T. I know your anthology. I've narrowed your genealogy down to your genes. I see a bitch mm. snatch that quick, make you a man out of this. Because that's what my parents did. Mm. I bet you'd be the first in life for a microchip. Don't be fooled. His bravado says... <laughs> Fuck the system, I'm against it. But behind concealed Texas, you wanted me tested for COVID. You wanted me tested. <laughs> this guy don't scream right like a bad test kit. This is the only thing I've got to pass when I'm body prepping. He wanted me tested because he knows the flow is infectious. No matter the wave these men are on, first to second, I'm ahead of pandemics. So I don't get shook when a case pops up. I did it, but I don't need no credit. I even told Pete, get rid of this clip, it's evidence. Because it's evident. If I still got a bus case from the Jakes, I'm safe. Think MJ, because the most the government gave a fuck about melanin was through a risk assessment. And when I'm done, I'll pull up on his mum just to see how she's coping, even though he died from the ills, they'll just blame it on the COVID. Uh -huh. See, I'm a nice guy. But I ain't no vegan. When it comes to beefing, I'm messy eating. Even T bones broken. I do what it takes. And if you bought that tea with tip scales, then you didn't weigh steaks. So fuck it, I'll raise steaks. I'm like Wesley with a sniper at two meter range. Even a death with a punk ass, I'll still accommodate. Now fuck that. I'd rather get in close, cutting down the alleyway, and switch blades. See, my pen is like a fan. When it sinks in, I see a page bleeding. I draw blood. I expose T cells and kill them off one by one like a CDA. Every opponent that I've faced has been experienced, but I still march up ready to swing like the day they took Floyd. Fuck the weather, I'll make it rain where it may. Don't make me pull the range, you ain't got a leg in this race. I got tantrums bigger than Canadian toddlers. I'll take out any stallion who don't keep to their lanes. I've had to learn from my mistakes, and I've taken them. I've learned from my mistakes. Battling life, and I know you know, the whole shebang. But it's just acted like roots, anchoring me to determination. So even when I take defeat, I can still walk like a king. Kunta, Kinte. What you know about swimming in murky solutions when our mind's so polluted you can't find one? Praying to God for improvement, hopefully a divine one. And then I clocked, I had to re-educate. Because I didn't need to pair RE with my solutions to bump up the resolution. I see the vision clear. Time. All of our audience, yeah. For us to move forward, you good? Yeah. You're not, you're good, you're good. All of our audience, yo. For us to move forward, we gotta raise the bar for bars and draw our poor performances. Example: You started your round versus Gilgamesh with a line about your dying uncle. Now, I don't want to offend. If he's passed, then R.I.P. If he's not, inshallah, he makes a fast recovery. But you spent two lines to speak about something rocky just to say you'd send God up another body. Alright? If you're not going to expound on something so deep, the rest of us are going to wonder why you did it. Basically, what I'm saying is, if you're trying to pull out our heartstrings, don't be vibing with it. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 
Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Wait, wait. Next line. You should never get respect again because you said, I burn through him like a Benz. He knows he'll get MDM'd. She said, Do you mean Eminem? Was that a punchline or a reference? But don't worry, I got this. It's because you've got a slim chance in beating me and we'll find a source of the problem. I'm on. Next line, you had a Batman scheme to which you said, This would be his darkest nightmare because when I aim for his head, it's like my pen disappeared. What did that mean? Jeremy, I'll be to explain that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I can read out the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> then you said, Jesus flows, I had to walk through Haterade just to get here. Haterade, my G. It's either you need to stop rushing the writing, or you need to read more, because those aren't the kind of lines I can turn the other cheek for. You understand what I'm saying? Then you said, you rap like you suck dick. You said that. You said you rap like you suck dick. That was shit, but that's not what got me pissed. What annoyed me is that I couldn't fathom how that was your weakest line, but that's what garnered your loudest reaction, and that's you, man. The next couple lines will run through quick. You call Manny McCann a bitch just so you can rhyme with shit. Don't even rhyme. I'll show you whose world this is, call that a narcissist. Weak. How am I supposed to believe you got arts in your bus? Alright, enough of this. I'm gonna show you what real rapping this. This trigger ain't got no warning. You're about to see something graphic of giving this man an aneurysm trying to think of shit while I'm rapping this. Killing was automatic. I'm sending you off in packets and organs inside a UPS truck to all leave your family mad. And the only thing that's madder is your hairline. <laughs> I mean, Apex said it first, but what's worse is you look more like Predator and Alien at the same Alright. I'm gonna address that fucking dick bar. Because apparently people don't get it. My opponent said it ain't gay if it's rape. Well sorry, if it's a man it is. And when he started rapping he was choking like a well you get it. So I just put two and two together and I made that bar right there. So if you don't get it, sorry about that kid. But let me show you how the bar works. Yeah, let me show you how the bar works. When you battle Moke, you said one thing that I do fuck with. Two Afros on smoke, for number one, we don't need to speak on justice, because we know Afro beats a machine. I'm on a search and destroy to catch Tariq on a low and burn a boy. His name's Tariq Low. <laughs> <laughs> but if we talking bars, I keep the tab open till I hit a lick. You can go from Tariq to Katie Piper if I don't watch how my acid drips. Battling yours can be a trip. Be careful what you ask for. I can cause ego death like I'm Star Lord. I pull up no knives, big swords. Cause I'm in that space where your ego tries to hide. I dip in like Freddy, leave black T died. T rock eye? When I move, I make lines slide, level the field. So if a black T tries to throw shade, I treat him like daylight. T rock eye? Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to hear you speaking on the gimmicks. I peeled the fabric from a black tee and underneath I saw a hypocrite. Watch what happens when your clothes don't reflect your state of mind. <laughs> Not gonna lie, when Reckless schooled you a nigga that was a slipper. But rather than pull cuz up and narrow the divide, you do the exact same thing and throw them in a stereotype. Hotep niggas, that's the term you use, right? Hotep niggas? Reckless do your thing, we're just not ready for em emotet niggas. We'll be just as lost as he is if it was up for T to teach us. You're using words to insult, but you don't even know the meanings. Hotep means to be at peace. It's a parting gift wishing the safe passing of the deceased. So fuck you. You can find your Hotep, along with your respect, next to my last fuck left, in hell's deepest depth. And you can chill down until it freezes. This ignorance, I don't believe this. He really said we don't need Hotep niggas telling us to read scriptures. What are we going to do to rely on to secure culture for our lineage? Your pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 14 books! 14 books from the Bible have been removed. If it was up to this Nazi, he would have burned the rest too. I don't see niggas, just brothers and sisters, telling Tariq to read a book or two. Like, the fuck is wrong with you? But powerful and positive imagery is important. No cap. The picture's worth a thousand words, but yours just say that T is black. And we already knew that. That's why your black fist packs no punch, because when it lands, I'm like, where's the work to match? But then I was like, nah, there must be some gift to his gab. Because he was so quick to chat on someone else's expression of Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. But that's just to distract from the fact that you're just an Instagrammer. Mm -hmm. Always thinking your platform would save yourself. It's like your bars, Tariq. Mm -hmm. If there's no thinking behind it, then you're just a slave in yourself. In this day and age, I'm grateful for what any little people do. 
It's 22 years since Kwame Torre was still asking, if not you, then who? And it definitely ain't you, Tariq. <laughs> it definitely ain't you. He came out with a track called Where You Been? And on that shit, he said he's got a style like homos on gang shit. <laughs> I find that so ironic that you pull me up on that sucking dick bar. Like, <laughs> he said he's got a style like homos and gang shit. Mm. And I know you ain't on one of those things, but based on your pictures, mm. it really looks like you're based on that gang banging. Like, no, <laughs> he was modeling for women's earrings. Modeling for women's earrings. It's getting ridiculous. I just find it funny how these conscious niggas market that they're hard like Huey until they meet a real free man and find out that they're gangster delicious. This guy's <laughs> about how he perpetuates his image, talking about how he really rolls. If I died on my way home from Fed, you wouldn't be on any smoke. Let's just keep it real. <laughs> Nothing personal. Edson, 2017, where was you? Reparations March, 2014, where was you? Yeah. Let's keep it real. Where was it? I didn't see. It's a big crowd. But let's just keep it real. That's why you sound like a house nigga that's never been in the field. And you know what? These people didn't hear me sing Let Freedom Ring the whole time. I'm just Chadwick Boseman trying to give a message to another king. Stop taking shots at other people's blackness, you sound like a fascist, and now I gotta take shots at black tea like he's going out of fashion time. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're here, face to face. Man don't even know you link me with all of rap. You helped pave my way and I thank you for that. You literally brought me here to kill you. It was like a honeycomb trap. Damn. For this shit, I couldn't fucking wait. I even thought to pull you to the side like more before I fight. Like look bro, it's just a battle, don't be rattled what I'm about to say. I was never gonna do that, cause that shit's fucking lame. Plus everything I'm about to say is facts. Even you know you're a fucking s Some of that shit is where I met you. Banger's video shoot. I befriended you, cause we had a similar passion for battling. But that was a chess move, cause I knew I'd have to best you one day, and I would get to you. Check this. As I spin this tale of betrayal and break you down. This is gonna be hard to swallow. So I'm gonna start this round about the time you was in the house downloading Viperial albums. Wow, that goes way back like you two did. Two school kids, you was inseparable, but you was a jealous type. Envious of dude, why? Was he more popular than you? I heard you got your locks to look like him too. So I guess when he got a girlfriend, you sense heat between them is the moment you started to move. See, that's the thing about you. You was patient, waiting on the side, coiled up for the day can strike. You was faking, being their friend all the while you wanted to be his replacement. Sickening. Then you man started coiling. Then you man started college, you guys were like the trio in Harry Potter, but we didn't need a sword and had to know a dorm, you slid the rim. <laughs> Trips. Trips on holidays, you made advances. Failed at every chance because you ain't charming. Frustrated in clubs, punching walls and such. I'm looking at you become. You even started living together so you could be close enough to be the shoulder to cry on when things got rough. And you did this for eight years, King. What happened to Guy Cold, bruh? Say I only squeeze when I wrap around a body It's cool, but this is factual stuff Your whole friendship group split because you actually cuffed your best friend's ex Now your ex best friend from you actually f Wow <laughs> Was it worth it on the scales when you added it up? Tell the truth, no bluffing Because I was scrolling down your Insta And I saw a picture of all three of you together And I said, damn this dude's cold blooded Why are you leaving it up? Thought gay atom wasn't even enough? Or is it because you love bro and miss keeping in touch? Because now the man them don't fuck with you and all you got is her friends and you feel constricted in your mind that it's eating you up. You don't even realise that when you date the best friend is basically like you're dating the same guy. But don't think I'm going to let base slide. BLOW! I put a round in both of your books! That's snake eyes! Where's your point, son? You know you ain't fly, that's so why I'm dragging you all over the place from the wayside. You thought you had me beat? Nigga, look at that, I failed you. I bet you asked for info on me. Nigga, what does that tell you? If you two move to the other side of the world, it will still mail you. With a letter about how bad you took this L, and it'll sound like this is the voice of a nigga that's destined for greatness. They hear me and make threats, but I'm in your face now, cooking and screaming at you like, hey, chefs, that's why these niggas will fear me. I kill fools, and you will feel this L yearly. You ain't near me. 
true need I'm in your mind like unity Like a tumor that will never leave you like Lumi D These eagles will be the end of your arc, I've got two of each Look at these, got bullets for all of you in a stupid league No offense please, these guys IQ So when IQ fine from a blind side view I'm a nice guy too, fine tune dynamic entry Like a mic guy boot to the face where I'm like right you wait I can feel you shaking The pressure is rude awakening I be bleeding over a basin Break him down to his last molecule You beating me is just not possible I'll bottle you with a plastic bottle instead of crossing you With my arms out in your mum's house Like what are you gonna do? If you even move I'm dropping you If I fuck your whole relationship I'm caught blocking you I have niggas marching for you I duck dodges you So duck cause these bullets ain't dodgeable I'm the hardest nigga in Tottenham That's the fucking truth I'm Time <laughs> Ills versus Black T, that was a crazy one. Make sure you keep it locked, man. Art rap, there's an art to this shit. There's an art to this shit.